We are uh, going straight to relationships. She's a certified family a life coach and seasoned entrepreneur. Now she's passionate about marriages and family well-being. Of course, her outfit, Three Court Couples, is a premarital and postmarital counseling outfit where she mentors on marriage and family well-being. Now she's on the show today to talk to us about managing expectations in relationships. It's great to have you, Toby Lola. You're welcome. Great to have okay, you. Okay, so um, we're, going, we're, going, we're going all around married and unmarried relationships generally. People have expectations, I'm telling you. So uh, especially when people are coming out from one relationship into another, they have things that have happened before that, you know, could, they've caught their minds and all of that, and expectations are really there. Yeah. Well, let's talk about the basic expectations, first of all, that people have in relationships. What are the basic, the most common ones that you can um, uh, tell us about? Okay, people expect a lot of things from their relationships or from mm. their partners. And um, we can go on and on about the list. They expect that, okay, the guy will be this, um, the, guy, the, um, the lady will be that, um, they will be nice, they will be loving, they will, they, they will be caring. Some Actually. of them, some of them feel they will, yeah, that's what I was to say, that some of them feel this guy will be my financial support, they will mm. give me everything I need. Um, the guy feels that the lady should be the homemaker, the home builder, cook for me. You know, a lot of expectations, mm. financial expectation, expectations for the family. This person will take care of my family. This person will exactly. That's a big one. Yeah. that's a big one. So, so but then not all that glitters is gold. We don't always get what we expect. Yeah. Yeah. So how do these? Um, how how do we manage to deal with those sort of expectations? So one of the things we have to do is we have to communicate the expectations. Mm. So sometimes. People don't really meet up to your expectations because they don't even know what you expect. You know, it happens at times in relationship. You expect someone to read your mind. Exactly. I'm, I'm just not feeling okay, and then you expect that person just knows yes. intuitively and all that. But especially, it doesn't always happen that way. Especially women. So sometimes we just expect that the guy should know, read hmm. my countenance. Read and my know, countenance. I understand. <laughs> and we, you, and you ladies, I, you, you don't no, know. Both ways. It's both I'm just ways, saying right? it, it is. Especially it is. Women. It is. It so is. yes, we have to communicate our minds. We have to communicate our expectations so we can be in sync. So um, the, 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 part, the other partner knows exactly what you want, how you feel. And if they can't meet up, they will be able to say, this is how it should be. And both of you can now come into an agreement and then you'll be able to manage. Okay, now what if after a marriage or a relationship has been, let's, let's look at both ways now. And then you now notice that there are some expectations that this person can't meet that you feel are, uh, you can't take. Are you trying to say that you should work at it, or is that is that a time to after marriage? I mean, after you have yeah. Let's married. say after marriage. Let's say after. Look, okay, let's start with marriage. After marriage, you find that this person cannot meet some expectations that you thought the person could meet. What happens then? Okay, so it means you didn't even talk about it while courting, which is or, quite a problem. Which is a problem because I always want. I mean, go back to the foundation. That what was the foundation? What were the what were the things you guys were discussing before you got married? Because all those are very important. Mm. So for those that are not married, I think they need to, like I said, communicate their expectations clearly. And there are some that you can bend. There are some you cannot bend. So once exactly. you see that this person cannot meet up to this expectation, it's better to just stay back. And what if you love the person? You know, people are like, I love the person. Uh, you know, last week on the show we talked about the um, how to decide or what mm. are the basic things you need to know. Yeah. So there are some there are some things, there are some values, there are some, some of your expectations that you should not bend. Hmm. Because you know that these are important, these are healthy expectations that should happen in this relationship. Example, so can, if you just, it if you can enumerate a few of the kind of expectations you think ladies or guys should not bend when it comes to opposing them um, to, uh, to their spouses? For instance, the, you, you expect that a guy should um, have a means of livelihood. Hmm. So you are now seeing that this person does not have, and it's not that he's trying and he's not getting. Hmm. You see that he's not, he's not so um, into work. He just, just does not, he's just being lazy, hmm. or he's just procrastinating, or you know, you are just enabling those bad behaviors because you are seeing that, oh, this person will be there for me, or this person will do. So some, like, you should not bend that. Well, some about, of your values, about? probably, um, Violence. Mm, you, should okay. not, you should not bend at all, that. At all. So you, you see the signs, some of the signs, maybe verbal abuse. You see those things in the relationship and, you know, as I mean, you should not bend those ones. Those that kind of, this those kind person of does not do this or this person talks to me this way. 
you know, you should not bend integrity all right. and all those things. All right. But now, when sorry, to answer your um, your question, uh, when you're now married, and you see that okay, maybe some of the things you didn't notice or or probably is changing um, mm. in some ways, then sometimes you have to be realistic. Mm. So a lot of times we have unrealistic expectations. Mm. That's another one. So you have to keep it to a minimum because you know that you're already in it. You're already in it, right? <laughs> you're already in it. Uh, so, so be, be okay. realistic, then change your perception. Sometimes it's even, you know, especially if you know that it's just maybe like a want. You know, there are needs, there are wants. Exactly. So if you see that it's not really a need a that you're desperate need, for, yeah. then you can bend it. You can, you know, keep it low a bit, then communicate it, and maybe gradually you might be able to see the change that That's you, you want. Require. Yeah. Thank you very much, Tobilola. It was great talking to you. Yeah, thank and, you. And uh, at least I believe that you understand a little bit more how to manage expectations in your relationship and marriage. All right. I'm looking forward to having you some other time. Thank and you. And that's it on the second lap of the show. We'll take a short uh, recess now. When we get back, the final lap of the show, you don't want to miss what we have. <laughs>